Good morning, watch lovers. Buongiorno, buenos dias, bonjour, guten morgen, ni hao. Welcome to another episode of What's on my wrist. And today I'm wearing not only one of the most desirable chronographs in the market, but also one of the best investments you could do in the world of luxury timepieces. The Rolex Cosmograph Daytona 116500LN. This version is with black dial and black bezel, but it's not over because I want to do an analysis of another Rolex Daytona. The reference 116520. Both watches are iconic. The Daytona represents a true myth in the world of watches, and uh, well, in the latest years, uh, this watch became even more popular. Maybe because the Daytona of Paul Newman was sold at auction for 70 million dollars, that might be a reason. But also the fact that everyone is looking for the stainless steel Rolex Daytona and has issues in finding it also has a big importance from my point of view. Anyway. So today we have the reference 116500 against the reference 116520. One of the most frequent questions I receive on Instagram is which timepiece do you recommend as an investment? And normally my answer is one of these two. In fact, we already saw many Rolex watches that represent a good investment. Obviously, you need to have a good knowledge before making a purchase and making an investment. But these two stainless steel Daytonas are two of the safest investments you could make in the world of luxury timepieces. We can have a look at the history of the, of the prices of these watches. For example, one year ago, the price of a regular dial uh, Daytona 116520 was around 15,500 euros and 70,000 euros. And uh, now, guess what? Almost 10,000 euros more. So what is the material good that gains 10,000 euros uh, in one year? It's very difficult, honestly, to find something like that. And regarding the Seracrom Daytona, we can certainly say that uh, since the moment of its launch, its value has always been higher than the retail price. And that's quite normal for sports stainless steel Rolex watches. But in this case, the value was much higher. In fact, well, one year ago, its cost was around uh, 20, 22,000 euros. Now you pay 28, 30,000 euros. So uh, impressive, isn't it? Obviously, it's not always like that. It's not like, okay, I buy a Rolex watch and I gain 10,000 euros in one year. Not at all. But in this case, yes, it was possible. The price growth of these Rolex watches is certainly one of the most attractive aspects that calls the attention of worldwide collectors. That's why everyone is looking for one of these watches. I use the term everyone, but I mean a big part of the watch community. I mean, for a Rolex lover, these two watches are a must. And the fact that you cannot find these in an authorized Rolex retailer is something for sure very, very attractive. In fact, I think that it is the most difficult watch to find at retail price, much more than anyone else. Their value growth has been a little bit different. In fact, as I said, regarding the Seracrom Daytona 116500, since the moment of its launch in 2016, it was oh, like that. The value was already very high and kept growing over the year. So every year, this watch is more expensive. Regarding the 116520, it has been quite low for several years because there was much more interest for the previous reference, the Zenit Caliber reference 16520. And then, boom, one year ago, it, it started growing 
more and more and more. In particular, in the last six months, this watch took a lot of value. And uh, as we can see in uh, one of our Mondani books, there are several dial variations. And certainly the most attractive one and the rarest one is the APH dial. It's time to have a closer look to these two beauties. They certainly have many similar aspects. For example, they're both made of the 904L stainless steel. Their case is 40 millimeters and they both features the sporty oyster bracelet. They have both screw down pushers and screw down winding crown and they're both resistant up to 300 feet. The reference number of their bracelet is 78490 for the reference 116520 and 78590 for the Seracron Daytona 116500LM. The reference 116520 was launched in the year 2000 and it was a big news because for the first time the caliber was entirely produced in-house, the caliber 4130. The reference 116500 was produced in the year 2016 and it was a big news again because for the first time a Daytona featured a Seracrom ceramic bezel. And this news was uh, welcomed in a very enthusiastic way by worldwide collectors. In fact, this watch had a huge success since the moment of its launch. As I said, both uh, references come in uh, white and black dial. The main difference, as we can see, is the bezel. In the first case, the bezel was engraved with the tachymeter scale with horizontal units per hour from 60 to 400. In the case of the 116500, the bezel is made by Seracrom Ceramic. Another very frequent question that I receive on Instagram is which one I prefer. Well, I think it is very, very difficult to say because uh, from the point of view of the investment, I think they are both excellent choices. If I have to be honest, I think that uh, the 116500 is more subject to speculations uh, and certainly if it goes out of the production, uh, it will immediately increase its value, that's sure. Like it happened last this year, because there were rumors that it was going to be discontinued and uh, suddenly the price went to 35,000 euros and then it came down again. In the case of the reference 116520, I think the growth of its value will uh, continue over the years uh, more constantly with, uh, let's say, less influences. But for sure, what I think is that both watches will keep increasing their value and that's that's very important because uh, today a collector not only wants to have a good watch to wear every day but also wants to invest his money in the best way and certainly these two watches are a very good way to invest money if you want to know more about modern Rolex Daytona, you can certainly find a lot of information in the Mondani book Self-Winding Rolex Daytona, which includes the reference 16520 until the latest production. You can find it at mondanibooks.com. Also, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Giorgia Mondani. Thank you so much. See you next week.